Okay, boys and girls, I asked you in your sketchbook to think about these two paintings right here, this one and this one, and how they are similar and how they are very different from each other. So we talked about a few things that we see, and I'm going to tell you now what this painting is and what this painting is. So this painting first right here is a very famous painting made by an artist named Vincent Van Gogh, and this is a funny version of this famous Vincent Van Gogh painting called The Starry Night. So we are going to find out all about Vincent Van Gogh and all about what The Starry Night is all about and this word called parody, because that's going to help us create a funny version of our own Starry Night. So Vincent Van Gogh, this is a portrait, a painting that he created of himself. He was a painter, obviously, and he worked with a style of art called Impressionism. This is a big funny word, and what it just means is when he paints, he makes very small, thin brush strokes of paint, and in his painting right here, The Starry Night, you can see all those tiny little brush strokes. They look like tiny little dotted lines, and they go all throughout his entire painting. Now, the reason why he paints like this, it's a style that he created, and it really shows movement and emotion. So when we look at these colors that really blend together, they show a lot of, again, movement. Your eye keeps moving back and forth throughout the painting, and again, they show a lot of emotion. So this painting kind of reminds me of something that's very beautiful when I look at it the way that the colors are blending together and my eye is moving throughout the painting. So it's not exactly a realistic painting. It's more of what we call abstract. The colors blending together and the brush strokes of paint are very choppy and abstract. So let's look at a realistic landscape painting. This is a painting of a landscape, if you can believe it, but it's very realistic. The brush strokes don't look very much like Vincent Van Gogh's. So let's look now at another one of Vincent Van Gogh's paintings that's more abstract with those Impressionism style lines. So you can see again in another one of his paintings, these little tiny brush strokes of paints, they kind of blend all together and they make your eye move throughout the painting. Very abstract. So again, we have another Impressionist painting by Vincent Van Gogh and you can see that same style. And here's another realistic landscape. You really can't see that same style. So realistic versus impressionism. Okay, let's talk about The Starry Night. This is a very famous work of art. Probably a lot of you have seen this work of art before, maybe in the art classroom or maybe in an art book or a museum. So Vincent van Gogh painted this painting again because one night when he was in his village, he was looking up at the sky, and he just thought that those colors of the star and the moon and the way that they were shining in the sky were just so beautiful that he had to paint these colors swirling throughout the sky. So it's a very emotional painting for him. When he looked up in the sky, he became very emotional. He had a lot of emotions that he felt. So we are actually going to look at Vincent van Gogh's style of painting, and we're going to create a parody. So a parody means a funny version of something that is very well-known or famous, like a painting. So let's look at the Starry Night again. This is the regular, everyday, normal Starry Night, and a lot of artists create this into a parody, so they make a funny version of it. So here is... Batman Starry Night. So this artist created Starry Night, but they put a funny twist on it by putting these elements of Batman inside. Here's another one. Here's Snoopy Starry Night. This artist has, again, taken this very famous painting of Starry Night, but put some funny elements in there, like the Snoopy. Here's Avocado Starry Night floating throughout the sky, so another funny version. And then Alien UFO Starry Night. Um, so let's look at another painting here. Not just Starry Night is a painting that is a parody created of it. This is a painting created by the artist Salvador Dali. He's a different type of painter, but this is another famous painting. And what artists will do to his painting is take these well-known objects in his painting and turn them into funny objects. So you can kind of see here how the clock is turning into a pizza and the other clocks in the painting are turning into pizzas. This artist right here took this very famous painting and turned it into a Spongebob version of the painting. So you can kind of see how they relate here. They look very similar, but you can obviously tell this is the funny version. 
And what about our Mona Lisa? She has so many parodies of her because she's so famous and well-known, but a lot of people will take Mona Lisa and turn her into something that she's not, maybe like a Star Wars Mona Lisa. Here's another very famous work of art. You might have seen this maybe in the Art Institute of Chicago is where it um, lives. So this painting, again, people make a lot of parodies of this one, and sometimes they'll turn this into a funny version of that painting. Okay, so one last question here. Can you find any parodies in our classroom? Think really hard about this one. Look around the classroom right now. Do you see any parodies in our classroom? If you saw those minions and you are thinking that those were parodies, you are correct. All of these paintings right here are famous works of art like the Mona Lisa and actually the um, Salvador Dali painting we just saw. And the artists are taking these famous paintings and making them funny by putting minions inside of them. So these are all different parodies of famous paintings. And finally, we have our artist Vincent Van Gogh, and somebody has made a Lego version of him. Same painting, same idea, just a funny version of this self-portrait that he created one time. So your, your goal for this next project is going to be to create a Starry Night parody. We're going to actually paint our version of the Starry Night background, and we're going to put a few objects inside that make this a funny version of Starry Night. So we will draw these parody objects later, but we're really going to focus today on painting the background to look like Starry Night. So I'm going to show you now how we do that.